Good morning, dear students. Welcome to P and Amarzi e-learning classes. Activity two is about to prepare vermi compost manure materials, waste parts of fruits and vegetables, red worms, newspaper, green leaves, sand, water. Procedure. Choose a place that is neither too hot nor too cold and does not get sunlight directly. Dig a 30 cm deep pit at this place. Spread one or two cm thick layer of sand at the bottom of the pit. Spread vegetable waste including peels of fruits, green leaves and pieces of dried stalk of plants, husk or pieces of newspaper or cardboard. Dung over the layer of sand. Sprinkle some water to make this layer wet. Do not press the layer of waste. Keep this layer loose so that it has sufficient air and moisture. Put some red worms in the pit. Cover the pit loosely with a gunny bag or an old sheet of cloth or a layer of grass. Bury vegetable and fruit waste tea remains and weeds from the fields or garden 2 to 3 cm deep into the pit. It will serve as food for the red worms. Once in a few days, gently mix and move the top layers of your pit. Observe the contents of the pit carefully after 4 weeks. What will you observe? After 4 weeks, you will observe the waste has changed to black. Loose soil like material into the pit. Conclusion Vermi compost can be prepared easily by the help of red worms. What is a red worm? How does it help in vermi composting? Red worms do not have teeth. They have a structure called gizzard, which helps them in grinding their food. Red worms do not survive in very hot or very cold surroundings. They also need moisture around them. The worms are put into the pit containing the useful component of the garbage. The worms then convert the garbage into usable compost that can be used in gardens or fields for the plants and crops. A red worm can eat food equal to its own weight in a day. They also need moisture around them. If you take good care of your worms in a month's time, their number will be double. Observe the contents of the pet carefully after 3 to 4 weeks. Do you now see loose soil like material in the pit? You can see in the slide also, figure 16.6 worm composting. Your vermi compost is ready. Put some waste as food in one corner of the pit. Most of the worms will shift towards this part of the pit, vacating the other part. Remove the compost from the vacated part and dry it in the sun for few hours. Your vermi compost is ready for use. Use this excellent vermi compost in your pots, gardens or fields. Is this not like getting the best out of west? Those of you have agricultural feeds can try vermi composting in large pits. You can save a lot of money that is spent on buying expensive chemical fertilizers and manure from the market. Thank you dear students 